All right, it's JG, and today I am elated. I'm happy. We have the first, the first annual, um, the first, the first JG speaks this nigga hill war. And I know some of you are probably thinking, what is the This Nigga Here Award? This here is an award that <clears throat> I will start to give out. This will be a monthly starting out thing where I will be giving, giving an award, if you will, to somebody who deserves a this nigga here or for doing some dumb shit that just don't make no sense to me. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of you too. And I know in conversation, that's just how I made some of my homeboys talk in conversation. We like, you know, this nigga here, so and so he don't blah 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 blah. So hence the birth of JG Speaks, this nigga here award. Now we have four contestants. Four contestants. Now, the first contestant for the This Nigga Here Award is Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, why is he a contestant? Well, I tell you. He stated when this whole Donald Sterling fiasco broke out that he would never ever go to a Clippers game as long as Donald Sterling is the owner. Last time I checked, nigga. Donna Sterling is still the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers. And just a couple of days after that statement, <clears throat> prior to the Clippers getting put out the playoffs, Magic Johnson was at another Clippers game, smiling and buck dancing and acting like Abraham Lincoln just signed the goddamn Emancipation Proclamation. Um. <clears throat> Okay, contestant number two for the This Nigga Hill Awards is Elliot Rogers. As you know, Elliot Rogers is the kid, 22 year old out there in California, that decided to kill himself and six other people and maim, stab others because he haven't had no pussy. Damn, nigga. You 22, and your daddy is the assistant co-director for The Hunger Games. Do y'all know how much money that film generated? This motherfucker drove a BMW. He filmed himself in a BMW. You know how many people, you know how many women will give you pussy for just having a BMW? I'm talking about the rural white chicks, the Asian chicks, the, the, the black chicks, all the scum chicks, all the scummy ratchets. Of all the classisms, cause every you no know, white, you got your white, black, Indian. Then you got all you got good women in all classes, I would say. But then you know, it, it, all all ethnic groups got their ratchets. You could have got, you could have just drove to a rural, to a trailer park, to to a project, to a, a, a mosque or some shit, or some some one spread to the mosque. But you could have, for pussy, you could have went and bought some pussy. They fucking for two piece meals, man. You, you had to go kill yourself. You could have go boss a tree. You got a BMW. You bought a pistol. That same money you bought that to spend on that gun, you couldn't have went and bought you some twat. But no, you want to go film a video and yeah, that's gonna he contestant number two. Um, contestant number three for the this nigga here awards is no other than um T.I. Tip, aka King of the South, a uh, Pimp Squad click leader. But I'm gonna have to call him Clifford Harris. We've all heard about the um, the the brawl, the fiasco, fight, whatever happened with him and Floyd about. The pics that his wife posted on Instagram. He wanted to go fight Floyd. Broke the rules. He just, you know, just, just everything that he raps about. He just kind of killed all that shit by that move. But you know, that's your wife. But still, 
She the one posted pictures, T.I. Well, I got to call you Clifford. I can't call you no cool ass name. You got Clifford. That shit wasn't cool, Clifford. All right? <clears throat> so he's contestant number three for this nigga here awards. All right, contestant number four. Contestant number four for this nigga here award. Hey, you know, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it G. I still got down, you know, uh, come on, this shit. Anyway, contestant number four, Tyrese. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not, but Dr. Dre, I've heard about a Dr. Dre. Jim Alvin had inked the deal recently with Apple for the acquisition of the Beats by Dre headphones for, uh, for an astronomical sum of $3 billion. But Tyrese almost fucked up this deal because this happy-go-lucky-ass nigga decided to post a video before Apple pretty much sealed the deal of him crip walking or whatever you dance you want to call it happy and just pretty much almost you know just 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 letting the beans out the bag so they was a little upset and almost just just trashed that deal because he was overzealous but it's safe to say it you know i think they have uh renegotiate and and and, and work through that problem but tyrese you, you know was doing too much so these are the four contestants for the this nigga here awards we have magic johnson elliot rogers clifford harris y'all know him as ti and tyrese and without further ado hold on let me hold on hold on without further ado let me take a little second mm -hmm. Drum roll. And the first recipient of the JG Speaks This Nigga Here Award goes to no none other than this nigga, Magic Urban Johnson. That's right, goddammit. <clears throat> Magic Johnson, you are JG Speaks This Nigga Here Award. Oh, you did a lot of shit talking. I'm not going to that's some I'm not going to a Clippers game as long as Donald Sterling is the owner. That was some some big words and you went to a damn you you win. Now I'm gonna give Tyrese the right now I'm gonna give you my rationale as to why this nigga is the recipient. Tyrese, he almost killed a deal, but he didn't. Apple still uh went through with the deal so you got to pass ti that's your wife y'all got kids well clifford you, know, you get a pass even though i still my opinion that's some flaw shit because you got to go check the source woman scorn man Shh, man they're the world elliot rogers I, Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, that's some other shit. Magic Johnson, you got it because, for one, nigga, you said you wasn't going to the game. You supposed to stand by those words because that, that old ass motherfucker, Donald Sterling, he did try you. He sized you. You supposed to stand by and not go to the game. And not only are you at the game, you just. Smiling like you just ate some chicken. Like he just, oh, he just smiling. Like he just ate a damn two piece, three piece or something with, with potato wedges. But let's give it up for Magic Johnson. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, JG Speaks. Tell all your friends, your family. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, um, <clears throat> gotta go do some shit. But um, stay tuned for my next vlog. And once again, Be cool, stay in school, hug your kids, your children. I don't like the word kids. Um, if you got a wife, rubber feet tonight. Our girlfriend, rubber feet, whatever, do what you gotta do. Because um, <clears throat> if you don't, 
know what I'm saying? Somebody else will. And that's a little game. That's free. I'm trying to put a little fat on your head. But um, stay tuned. Like I said, we got we got a lot of big things coming up in this year. This year for 2014. I'm back. I'm back in Jacksonville. Back in my city. Um, <clears throat> shout out to my wife. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my grandma. And um, yeah, that's it. Gotta go. Love.